Hello, everyone. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to a, g a game. This is going to be Star Shaped and Thorzane going up against Lubber and Godfather. This is a 2v2 from the War Three Nations um, tournament. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying, um, well, all of these Warcraft 3 games. So, a lot to see and still a lot of strategies to be discovered. We are looking at, uh, well, Ziggurat and crypt no altar of darkness yet interesting setting that up at the 35 second mark um does that i do not believe that means it is going to be a, a tavern hero um, the timing on that perhaps just needing a little bit more lumber early on dark green the best color dark dark green in a green on well, a circle of fallen heroes jungle map that's like having blue on an ice map. Very difficult to spot. Hopefully, it doesn't become much of an issue. Now, what can we say about the strategies here? Night Elf already opening up. There is going to be a Keeper of the Grove. And is it going to just try to get the Hunter's Hall and also that Ancient of War at the same time? Coming in from Star Shaped. Meanwhile, we are looking at a pretty standard build coming in from Thorzane. No big surprise here. Archmage alongside some footmen and expansions will be a key, key thing to be aware of. Thank you for the follow. As we're looking at, well, Graveyard, Ultra of Darkness, and this is double undead. So Godfather and Lubber still using that double undead strategy as it is going to be a, a soloed Dreadlord alongside perhaps a Death Note. Altar of Darkness, Death Knight. That is a very late Altar of Darkness as it, as the Death Knight is actually, well, going to be coming out around the 2 minute 45 second mark. That is significantly delayed for any sort of creeping. Archmage should already be out onto the field. Yep, there it goes. And it will be trying to clear out some easy, easy creep camps. Um, and perhaps even getting to level 2 and, and also setting up an expansion. Giant Sea Turtle, this is a 4-4. Four three three two two creep camp, and I don't actually know if this gives level two um, um, early on. It is technically an orange creep camp, so perhaps it does. As it a potion of greater mana will be dropped right there. Water elemental trying to keep a little bit of distance, um, but it looks like it will end up getting taken down, and that's exactly what you don't want. You want the um, you wanted that water elemental to attack a footman and then lose aggro so that um, well the water elemental's damage was enough. Thank you for the follow, Freedom. The best best one was a 2v2 on a red map with both teams red. Yep, I, I remember that. That was a nightmare trying to spot anything on the minimap. Um, coming back around, we are looking at the Death Knight here. We are looking at, um, well, the Dreadlord here. Dreadlord is actually coming in with an expansion attempt of his own. Um, the Altar of Darkness was not unsummoned, not recommended at, at all. As we as we do see the Dreadlord still holding on to that Scroll of Town Portal. That's actually incredibly important as well, as that Scroll of Town Portal normally helps pay for the cost of the gold mine, but it, that's not what we're seeing right now. All right, in comes the Acolyte. Acolyte already summoning up the Haunted Gold Mine once more. Meanwhile, Archmage um, very far along with his own expansion as well, and it looks as though well, the Sea Turtles are going to get all cleared up here. Archmage with two potions, a potion of greater mana and a potion of greater healing. Both very powerful items indeed. And Thorzane is going to be sitting on an economic advantage very shortly. Meanwhile, the Death Knight and both sides just doing a large amount of creeping still. No, Keeper of the Grove is trying to do some harassment with Star Shape. And is going to end up falling behind here as uh, Huntresses are trying to go after some of those Crypt Fiends. All right, we also see a couple of Wisps. There's a detonation. More damage getting added in. A Wisp, is it going to see a get detonation again? Yes, removing some of that precious mana from that Death Knight. There goes a Death Coil there as more damage still added up. Keeper of the Grove. I don't believe it is going to be able to finish off any of those units as the Death Knight now trying to retreat back with those units. All right, Wisp getting a little bit of sleep treatment and then getting taken out by a carry on swarm interesting call there as that ends up costing more mana than getting detonated and you still give a little bit of experience here star shape did not if the star shape actually detonated before the carry on swarm hit that would have been absolutely brilliant brilliant micro as the dreadlord now well gonna be trying to uh, protect his expansion all right godfather attack. 
looking to hold on to this expansion right here. Solo, Dreadlord, play Death Knight, and Dreadlord working together. Huntresses, well, one Crypt Fiend of Lover actually getting caught in uh, caught in midfield. Keeper of the Grove, is it going to be able to use the Scroll of Town Portal to get away? It should be able to use the Scroll of Town Portal. Does not use it, only level one hero, but that means all of the Huntresses are committed in this fight as well. Archmage does have so many potions, though, that it is going to be nearly impossible to take it out. Potion of Invulnerability, Potion of Greater Healing, Potion of uh, Greater Healing already used. We're going to drop a Water Elemental and then continue this fight here. He's being forced to use all of these potions. Potion of Invulnerability right now at fighting through as well. And then multiple units are still getting taken out. Three of those potions used um, back to back to back in order to fight back. And that was because Star Shape did not... Well, interesting enough, going to go ahead and try to aggro away Archmage down to 202 hit points, able to back away here as the Jungle Stalker. Well, what is going on here? Archmage needs to pick up some items. Is it, what is it trying to pick up a staff of teleportation to head back home? A little bit of a risky maneuver there as the Death Knight does not land a Death Coil. That, yeah, that Archmage was very difficult to take out. Um, yeah, those rocks right there um, actually causing a bit of a problem. Um, well, trapping that Archmage in an unfortunate position here. Huntresses are in position. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to have to ask Xander Dorn about that. Why put those two rocks here as units can come here and here? And you can see so many dead units were right there positioned. All right, Archmage now making its way back over. Um, well, going to be able to get into position here. There comes in some more Ents. And oh, look at this. The Tidal Lords are upset that they you took down their forest. Footman with the Fend now looking to rush on in. Archmage in position here. Archmage, what is going on here? Even the map is working against Thorzine and Starshaped right now. As just because of a little bit of deforestation. All right, coming coming across, back across here. Meanwhile, Archmage continuing to put in that pressure. Could drop a second water elemental or a third water elemental here in just a little bit. However, the ghouls... No. But that was not a water elemental aria. See, that is a reef elemental. Okay, Arya, you don't know this, but an Archmage can only summon three water elementals at the same time at most. Um, their timed life does not allow you to have four, even if you have the mana. Archmage now coming away and trying to run back. They were looking at a, a bunch of low hit point ghouls. The local will be able to do exactly that. However, Star Shape and Thorzane might be in a little bit of trouble here. They're really committing to this attack here. And this could end up giving Lover and Godfather a large amount of experience. Star Shape is only sitting at level one on his Keeper of the Grove. Meanwhile, the Dreadlord and the Death Knight are sitting at level three, level two already with the Lich now backing up as well. We're looking at the water mongols trying to push their way through. Are we going to see the lover? Yes, lose a quick team right there as Huntresses are falling as well. Obsidian Statue trying to make their way over a little bit of damage being absorbed as the Obsidian Statue does try to back up here. It looks like it will be able to stay alive a little while longer. The Ents are just popping up out and I believe this attack is just... Um, just going to fall a bit short. Stormboat onto a Crypt Fiend. Crypt Fiend of Lover down to 254 hit points. Is it just going to try to burrow as the Archmage gets blasted down very quickly? Level 4 Archmage of Thorzane taken out due to a Carrion Swarm and a Frost Nova. I don't know if the Death Coil was involved as well. Mountain King could be in trouble. Scroll of Regeneration, Clarity Potion not going to help him. Potion Boots of Speed could allow him to run away as the Keeper of the Grove down to 198 hit points. And wow, that Mountain King actually slipping through the cracks right there. Keeper of the Grove now using a Scroll of Town Portal in order to he um, head back. Water Elemental Cousin, Sea Elemental. You can summon more using Staff or of Illusion. Yeah. So far, a, a lot of weird exchanges going on back and forth. Clarity Potion, Scroll of Regeneration units are now going to try and retreat. Uh, during this time, Star Shape um, is, I, I thought, would have fully saturated this gold mine. Now it is four, four bases to three, which does give Star Shape and Thorzane the economic advantage. However, well, the other advantage is... Um, the undead synergy advantage seems to be working out very well with the Death Knight, uh, well, Death Knight, Dreadlord, Lich uh, combination. We may even see a Crypt Lord here in just a moment to round out all of the undead heroes. Solo Dreadlord often, often used in this particular matchup just because of how powerful uh, that ultimate ability is summoning that Infernal. As the well, Archmage makes its way back over here to try to finish off the remainder of these 
sea turtles coming back around what is going to end up happening next a, a couple of limb rippers all of those will get taken out mountain king i do not believe will get to level two unless the archmage backs away meanwhile gyro or flying machines in the air keeping track of all of the units or keeping track of the skies and scouting out their opponent's base 47 Town over 50 supply compare and 38 so 47 38 going up attack. against what is this 47 and 46 star shaped and thorzane have a slight supply advantage as well all right it looks as though well sea giant behemoth will end up getting taken out knights are already out on the field paladin is here as well sea giant behemoth coming in with a monstrous thunderclap as that gets taken down mountain king picks up well war song battle drums 10 percent damage bonus across all the units as this last elder hydra should get taken out it does do a bit of chaos damage but it does not split as the paladin stays at level one archmage orb of fire on the paladin that will should most likely be transferred to the archmage here as we are looking at a little bit of an engagement coming down all right trapped between two armies this is a horrible spot for lubber to be in is it going to be able to do very much are we going to see yes there goes one crypt beam but that was it traded for a huntress as the scroll of town portal completes knight now making its way back out thorzane trying to well perhaps do a little bit more where is the where is the uh where is the green dragon roost right off over here being able to get that uh, level 10 dragon creep is going to be incredibly important i believe thorzane or thorzane definitely has the economy behind it to be able to grab it as we now see scourge bone chimes the perfect item for the mountain king the paladin and these knights coming back down to the south here another well tidal lord and some reef elementals gonna get finished off here chaos damage on that tidal lord dealing large amounts of damage once again as the tidal lord finally focused down holy light adding in a little bit extra as the paladin well we'll see what he does at level three Sadly, we don't see this map in 1v1. Yeah, maybe and, and ask Xander Dorn to make um, a, a 1v1 map uh, like this instead of with five spawning locations with three. That could work out well. Um, I, I know there have been some three spawning location maps. Um, so that way, when you scout, you still have to actually scout out your opponent, but you know where your opponent is, even if you don't find them. As we're looking at, well, the Tidal Lords getting taken down. Level 3 now on that Mountain King, getting a Gloves of Haste and picking up a Ring of Protection plus 3 as well. As we are looking at the Archmage, where is it going to scroll? Of Town Portal 2? Yes, down over here to try and protect it. Stormbolt, where is it going to go down on? Are we going to see a Stormbolt? Yes, we are. And a beautiful Stormbolt by Thorzane. Um, I, I thought it was going to be able to trap another ghoul behind it but no that was just a skeletal minion back off to the north here this is that green dragon roost which is so incredibly important i believe lover does have enough gold to try and hire up and um, hire up one of those green dragons that ends up getting devour devour incredibly powerful as it can shut down a four supply unit such as a knight or an abomination and well maintaining that particular um, or getting that particular creep is incredibly incredibly important however it looks like well i would have thought um what terror and lover would have known about that particular um, particular advantage and still has not really capitalized on it as of yet Units still making their way around. We are looking at Godfather setting up an expansion off over here. Oh, there is the green army. Difficult to spot on the minimap. Units are now trying to retreat back. Mountain King does have boots of speed. Are we going to see a storm bolt? No, no storm bolt following up that attack here. Meanwhile, Abominations, Crypt Fiends, a standard undead army making its way over here to the main base of Starshape and should be able to put in a lot of pressure. If Thorzane is forced to use a scroll of Town Portal,
then he's going to end up losing his own. Oh, a big th uh, thunderclap right there, uh, dealing large amounts of damage, a large bit of slow. Are we going to still see where that Mountain King is going next? Where is that Priest going? Priest could easily get taken out. Vampiric Aura doing a little bit of a save. What is going on? The units are just trying to retreat back all over the place as the main base of Starshade is in a lot of trouble. All right. Coming back around, we're looking at the Lich still putting in a bit of pressure. Alchemist trying to fight its way back. Keeper of the Grove is right here. Level 2, level 2 star shape is having a very difficult time trying to defend his own base as the Alchemist potion of lesser invulnerability not used in time as it was absolutely well, in trouble. All right, Knights, Flying Machine showing up to the party. Keeper of the Grove. Where is this going to go ahead and scroll of Town Portal to? Uh, going to go ahead and scroll of Town Portal to there to try and save all of those archers. Meanwhile, the undead army is right here, um, ready to put in a little bit more damage again. We're looking at the a Water Elemental with Inner Fire trying to hold off against all of these units and still doing that fairly well, I must admit. But in comes Godfather now with the pop-up army. All right, pop-up army. Necromancer going to be able to well, get in a lot of skeletal minions here in just a moment. And there you are. There's the meat wagons. Undead. Well, it looks as though, yes, uh, Europeans really like their Necromancer and um, Necromancer, Necro Wagon uh, continuing to push. All right. This uh, Town Hall, is it actually going to get destroyed in time? There you go. Coming back down. Scroll of Town Portal. Thunderclap. Blizzard. A whole bunch of uh, Necromancers could end up getting lost, but the expansion oh, is lost see. as well. Coming back off to the north. Crypt Fiends. Abominations putting pressure on Starship. Thorzane cannot be burning through scrolls of town portal that quickly to try and save his partner again as starshape is under uh, duress uh, his main base is under duress once more all right what is going to be happening here I'm losing the expansion was absolutely key getting up some ancient wars as the archmage makes its way over and gonna go ahead and scroll of town portal back in night or uh, undead army uh, where are they gonna try and perhaps go now death knight says you know what now that it's a two-on-one fight i'm gonna back away but obvious that means the other side and the other side is once again being pressured skeletal minions completely d dissolving right here as godfather not going to be putting in pressure here but in comes the scroll of town portal quickly already in position waiting for that and and getting in front of everything right there mountain king may be able to line up another storm boat trying to trade efficiently here and trading a scroll of town portal for two ghouls um actually not that great but then again it's better than getting nothing as the Mountain King tries to chase after all of those units again. All right, Knights, gonna go ahead and wake up that Mountain King. Stop attacking the Knight. It's fine. He's fine. He's, fi he's fine. Players he's fine. He's fine. under attack. <laughs> <laughs> there must have been some grudge. <laughs> There's. <laughs> My daughter's laughing like so hard right now. <laughs> All right, coming back around, Thorzane is back up on bases here. Flying machines overhead. We can see triple towers offering all of that protection. Meanwhile, back up across over here, once again, Thorzane needing to protect a base on the opposite side. No scroll of town portal. Just, or no scroll of, scroll of town portal in, just a straight scroll of town portal teleporting back out. Star shape. Well, having a good amount of gold, low on lumber. Does your daughter know how to play work? I. I um, I don't know if I want my daughter to actually be playing online games where she can chat with someone else yet. Um, it seems, it seems a little bit dangerous. A town is under siege. But it was stupid, funny when yeah. he goes back to the All right, coming back around here. Knight's going to go ahead and engage here. Flying Machine's getting into position. Necropolis is going to end up getting taken down. Meat Wagons are in position here. And the Knights are ready to push back onto the other side. A 2-1 upgrade in Knights with Devotion are going to be very difficult to take out, especially when you add Inner Fire amongst all of it. Holy Light trying to finish off. Knights should just be able to take down all of those um, Acolytes here in pretty much a moment. Mountain King getting in the Thunderclap, and this base will be lost here. Meanwhile, back off over here, Scroll of Town Portal to try and save that base, as I believe these units all are going to be trying to put in pressure as well. Knights are in position to take down this base. Godfather not going to be able to easily defend it, as the army of Godfather actually moving across to the other side, and now it's going to be a two-on-one fight at Star-shaped space. 
star shape is pretty much hiding and holding up inside his base right now but this is not a good spot for him to be Thorze now inbound making its way back over and will well with the base of or the army of lover also in position we could have a major fight coming across here in just a moment necromancer is getting into position now are we going to see that pop up army there's the impale major damage across multiple units squirrel of healing trying to counteract and now in comes the blizzard followed by a thunderclap and a healing spray also being used as well fire machines are also overhead as the pop-up army will be able to take down many of those flying machines. Mounting King is going to be in trouble, down to 300 hit points. And now Lo is he going to get Staff of Sanctuary out. Holy Light trying to stay alive as it gets impaled and Mounting King gets taken out. All right, Archmage still going to perhaps line up some more Blizzards. Are we going to get some more Dispel Magic? There's a Blizzard right there. Alchemist also caught in trouble as well. Two heroes down for the blue team. Meanwhile, the Crib Lord is still staying alive somehow. Death Coil keeping it alive as well. Archer is still pelting away. That is some major damage indeed. Blizzard. This is a massive battle from the east to the west. Both sides dealing or getting in some major damage here. Archmage is actually taking a large amount of damage as the units are now trying to back up again. As we see level 5 now on the Death Knight army. Alright. Keeper of the Grove still sitting at level 3. Archmage with that blizzard raining down. Damage is going to slowly add back up. Archers are trying to retreat back as the undead army now low on mana. This could be a good sign for them to retreat. But it feels like they do have the advantage. Is, are they going to overstay their welcome or are they going to seal the deal? That is the question to be had right now as well wisp now trying to detonate straight up onto all of those necromancers to remove some of that precious mana crypt lord gets taken out level four crypt lord falls giving the archmage mass teleport and well where are they teleporting to heading back home mortar teams coming back across here mountain king getting resurrected gonna take a little bit of time no clarity potion on um on the archmage just gonna, be, gonna walk out of here there is curses on the knights as the priest should perhaps be dispelling some of those curses as well all right coming back around this is going to be key the archer army ends now trying to make their way over death knight with anti-magic shell to protect them from any sort of storm bolt holy light uh, fiascos death knight now continuing to roll on in but thorzane and now that he has mass teleport should be able to move from one side of the map to the other very quickly level two Archmage traveling off to teleporting down across here to try and protect his friend. Now going to Scroll of Town Portal here to protect his main base. And is he going to be able to get anything? Scroll of Town Portal on the Dreadlord now as the Dreadlord going to back away and teleport back out. All right, where are these militia heading off to? That is the next question here. There is a new base trying to be established. Another mass teleport could come across here. Necropolis is now already done. And Thorzane looking to back up as the main bases have been mined out no more gold in the main bases we see three bases i believe the for the blue army one snack. two three bases for the um, green army as well as we are even on bases so far though let's take a look there's a frost nova death knight now trying to push their way in keeper the grove level four level two alchemist isn't going to get taken down healing spray really not that powerful enough meanwhile Thorzane is putting in pressure on this base and it is going to get taken out very quickly. Mortar teams going to shell shock this haunted gold mine. Acolyte's not going to be able to do very much of anything else as the Archmage tries to finish off the remaining units. Back off to the north here. Well, with that mass teleport, all of a sudden the split and the split tactics that, well, Terror and Love, or yeah, Father, Godfather, or and Lover have been using. Um, it is not going to work out as well as the mass teleport can just bring them over in an instant. All right, we are looking at a level 5 Dreadlord, still not yet at level 6. Mounting King uh, Knight's going to be able to take down the Graveguard, start putting in a large bit of pressure. And if these Mead Wagons try to uh, make uh, push on in, they're just going to end up getting taken out as well. Blizzard now raining down in across all of the Spirit Towers in the back. Damage is going to add up and in comes a mass teleport to, well on the other side of the map all right abominations death knight now being forced to retreat here uh, it looks as though the alchemist is going to get taken out again and not even using the scroll of healing or any or that potion of invulnerability the level two once more all right heroes are just has fallen so many times we're gonna have uh, well thorazane continuing to carry his uh, his partner partner so far as that's what often happens in 2v2 games if you are the one on the wrong end of the beating stick 
well, you just hope that your opponent, that your partner can make up, especially if you're constantly getting attacked 2v1. Archmage is going to be able to throw down another Blizzard here in just a second. There's the Blizzard. Dreadlord actually a little bit too far away. The Blizzard really raining down, dealing damage across that back line as it impales. Stops the Archmage from being able to cast Blizzard any longer. True Shot Aura on the Priestess of the Moon as the third hero from the Nida finally showing up and giving a major damage bonus to a multiple units for this, well, Night Elf human army. Priest of the Moon, however, quickly melted away, and it looks as though the Lover's Crypt Lord is going to get taken down as well. There it goes, as the fight's still going on here. Keeper the Grove trying to make its way back as well. Mounting King continuing this pressure. This expansion looks like it will get taken down. Keeper of the Grove being forced to scroll of Town Portal out, leaving Thorzane by himself in this fight. Is the, How is that going to work out here? Blizzard going down after the Meat Wagons, and so many Necromancers getting taken out, including the, uh, Death Knight also taken out as well, as we're looking at, well, that Meat Wagon down to nine hit points. Just one tap could take it out and well, almost there. All right, Priest getting taken out as well as we're looking at a mass teleport to try and retrieve Mountain King able to move away in time and get healed back up. Paladin was Staff of Sanctuary to back home. Scroll of Regeneration now being used as we need to see a couple of Priests join in on the fight oh, to help offset all attack. of this damage. Back across here, peasants doing what they can to try and take this down. Here in comes a mass teleport, in comes the army, and that is going to be short work right here. All right, two priests trying to finish off all of the healing once again. We do see a mountain king getting what well, scroll of regeneration still. I don't know where the mortar teams are. Perhaps they were left back or all destroyed earlier, but the knights still finishing off this base with no problem. Archmage still has plenty to, with mass teleport, couldn't make their way back over. And it looks like Thorzane will be able to carry this game. Um, carry this game for Star Shaped. Star Shaped having a bit of trouble, sitting at 43 over 80 supply right now. As the Archmage now sets up some additional scout towers, perhaps for an expansion of his own. We are looking at what one, two bases going up against two bases right now. This is the odd base out. If Thorzen gets this base up and running, it will mean a, a sure economic advantage. Still surprised that no one has used this green dragon roost whatsoever to try and be able to Players devour um, some down. enemy units with some hit and run. All right, coming back around here. And Archmage is still across here. Are we perhaps going to see some Blizzard come down? Orb of Venom on the Keeper of the Grove. Where is the Priestess of the Moon? Priestess of the Moon has not been resurrected. Doesn't seem, or seems like she was forgotten. Um, Alchemist still sitting at level 2 during after, after all this time here. As there goes another Nerubian and Tower. All right, pressure starting to add up here. Level 5 Lich, level 5 Death Knight. A very scary combination indeed. Mountain King finally sitting at level 5 himself. Level 3 Stormbolt and level 3 Holy Light could um, provide short work and a quick death for a Lich, especially if the Archmage is using that Orb of Fire to really reduce the amount of healing that the Death Knight can do. Coming back across here, it looks as though, nope, the expansion is once again re-established once more by Godfather. No mass teleport to try and save it, but this expansion still has 7,000 gold. All right, two bases versus two here. Oh, Necromancers trying to retreat back. Where are they going to go? Are they going to be able to run here? Um, well, Mountain King trying to close in on that distance. Knight's not going to be able to do that. There goes a Stormbolt onto one, um, one very, very dead Necromancer as the Mountain King still trying to chase up after all of those units. All right, in comes the other side here. Destroyers are up in the air as the well Cripple goes down onto the Knight trying to get a quick impale. Mountain King going to try and go after all of those units. There is a quick sleep onto the Paladin. Paladin could be in trouble. Infernal called down as well. And this is a 2v1 fight. Death Knight, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability being used here as the, well, the priests are trying to retreat back. Death Knight gets wholly lighted and gets taken out. Meanwhile, Paladin gonna get hit and get Staff of Sanctuary out of a tight spot as more units are still trying to be healed. Carrion Swarm ripping through the priest taking them down, followed by an impale. Archmage is in serious trouble. It gets blasted down, and Thorzane no longer able to keep his units alive, losing a level 6 Archmage. A thunderclap comes across, but this may be the beginning of the end and the unraveling of Thorzane's carry. 
All right, Meat Wagon gonna go ahead and finish off this Town Hall here. So much damage as the level 7 Dreadlord comes across. The Star Shape shows up for emotional support, but can't really do all that much. Priestess of the Moon trying to add in a little bit of damage as well. We need to see some Priest with that, um, with the spell magic, but they were all just taken out by Carry On Swarms and Impales. Mass Archer Army going up against the remainder here. The Meat Wagon's in the back, able to impale so much. At, um, or deal so much damage and the impales coming in from the crypt lord adding in so much damage as well all right more damage trying to get saved here priestess of the moon very low on hit points now down to dead as the dreadlord still leading the charge here all right paladin back out onto the field the paladin comes bearing gifts paladin is it going to try and holy light oh gets a resurrection resurrection back says no you knock me down i am still in this crypt lord could get blasted with a holy life currently asleep what is that to keep crypt lord doing that crypt lord needs to get taken down it gets taken down level seven back on the archmage and level five on the keeper of the grove <laughs> all right mass teleport coming back in i had completely forgotten about Completely forgotten about resurrection on the paladin being able to get back a couple of knights That was absolutely huge as the units are now making their way back over again Keeper of the Grove gonna finish off one meat wagon trying to make its way back over gonna summon up some ends and in comes some units again 27 supply I thought star shaped and Thorzane were down for the count uh, not only are they back and they well, 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 all, all it takes is one carry on swarm and all of a sudden you know, you kill 12 archers and it's anyone's game again. All right, coming back through. Uh, does Can the resurrection on the paladin actually heal friend, um, or resurrect friendly units? That is the big question there. And all of the acolytes completely taken out. Pa paladin can't resurrect heroes. I know, but it's the, the archers there that I was talking about. The paladin, uh, yeah, no. And um, in comes again. Alchemist finally gets the level three at the 30 winning minute mark of this game. And Lubber and... Godfather give the GG. Thorzane literally carried the entire game on his back and came away with the victory. Very, very well played. The resurrection followed by the mass teleport. And I don't know why um, that Crypt Lord st stuck around for so long. That Paladin could have taken it out with the Holy Light instantly. I, I, in that last fight, I'm like, oh, the Paladin's in play. The Crypt Lord is low. It's going to be amazing when he resurrects his army. <laughs> I completely forgot of that. That that was absolutely a great, great game. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.